Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to talk about a section of the CARES Act, which was passed and made into law on March 27, 2020, about your credit, individual consumer credit, which most often is credit cards. And it also applies to auto loans, and it can also apply to other consumer debt, furniture loans, and your mortgage. So the CARES Act was passed to give us financial relief in the U.S. during this quarantine situation. So this particular section talks about the ability of creditors to report to the credit bureaus about whether or not you're paying on time. And while we're in this uh, quarantine situation, if you make arrangements with your creditor, auto, house, uh, any other type of installment payments, maybe a department store credit card, a gas credit card, uh, or a you know general American Express, a Visa, MasterCard, Discover, those types of agreements. If you make an agreement with those creditors for an accommodation, and I'm going to go over what those accommodations are, then the co credit company is not allowed to report you as delinquent or uh, not fulfilling your obligation if you enter into one of those agreements and so long as you're not already in default or so long as your account has not already been written off. If your account was already written off, this doesn't apply to you. If your account is already delinquent, it does apply to you because you can still get an accommodation, an extension of time and modification and if you pay the delinquent part during this accommodation period, then they can't report you as delinquent going forward. They have to show you as current. I hope that was clear. So the accommodation is an arrangement you make with your creditor, and the accommodation can include any of these items. It can be to allow you to defer one or more payments, so not have to pay it. And I've talked with a couple of the companies and they call it a reset. So if you ask for your account to be reset to, we're coming up on May, say reset it for April, reset it for May, meaning you don't owe anything and push the payment out so that there's not a payment made now. Or if you agree to make a partial payment and then that is good enough based upon what funds are available to you. They will call it good and then move forward. Or if they forbear any delinquent amount, meaning if you owe something now and you can't make it work with everything that you've got going on, then they postpone any obligation to pay on that amount. Or if the loan agreement or the contract under which you make your payments you know, what the terms are, if that is modified in any way, in any other respect. So that could be if you go into renegotiate because of this situation and you make other changes to the agreement going forward and you actually sign documents. Or if the two of you agree to any other type of terms or arrangements during this quarantine period. So if any of those things apply, and you have to contact them and ask for this. They are not obligated to contact you, but if you call them, if it's a credit card, call the phone number on the back of your card, they're ready for these calls, but they are not reaching out to you. You might have received a call if you're a little behind, and if you took the call, they're not leaving a message probably if they call you because they're calling to discuss this, but they're not gonna tell you. So you have to reach out to them. And then if any of these arrangements are made, they have to report you as current so long as you abide by whatever the arrangement is. And they have to report you as current from the time of that agreement, which is just most of the time just over the telephone or an email. And it's nothing formal unless you revise your whole agreement and then make sure that you've covered all of your sections. But from the time that you contact them and you make this agreement for the period from January 31 of 2020, if that's covered under this agreement, until the later of July 25, 2020, which is the 
120 days from the time that the law has been changed, this law has been enacted, or 120 days after the date that the president declares the national emergency is over. And he declared that emergency on March 13. So if the president comes out and says, the emergency that we started all of this, recommended closures and things, uh, it started on March 13 and I'm now calling it, calling it over. So then 120 days from that date. So either 120 days from that date or July 25, 2020 is your outside date and the period that's covered. So if you make arrangements and you comply with what those arrangements are, then during that period they cannot report you as late or delinquent. So long as if there was a delinquency at the time that you make this arrangement, in that period you fix it. And then from the date that you fix that particular part and go forward, then you're reported as current. Some of these uh, credit card companies or auto loan companies are kind of trying to do it on a month-to-month -month basis. Some of the bigger companies are just automatically putting you in for um, a, a longer period of time. So it's going to depend upon who your creditors are. I do have one phone number for you if anybody has an auto loan, a mortgage loan, a home equity loan, or a credit card that is by Chase, then you can use this phone number and do all of them one after the other at the same time, even if they're different, those different kinds of loans. That phone number is 888-356-0023. So I hope that was helpful to you. I'm gonna do another video and I'll link it below on your home and foreclosures home loans, and evictions under the CARES Act. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions below. Let me know how you're doing. I hope everybody's hanging in there. I think we're getting close to finding a way out, hopefully. Uh, subscribe to see the other videos. Share this with someone who you might think maybe has some credit issues. People don't want to talk about this kind of stuff, and that's fine, but we need to be aware. And it's not going, the law is there, but they, the law does not say that the creditors have to come to your house and deliver this. People need to take some action. I'm putting this out on April 27. The law was passed March 27. So if somebody has a bill due in April, call tomorrow. Get this taken care of in the month of April and you'll be better off for it. All right, it'll give you some peace of mind and it'll help you feel better. So you don't have to say, I think you probably have debt. Just send it to somebody that most people have a car loan, a home loan, a credit card, furniture loan, or a home equity line of credit, and this will help them a lot. And all they have to do is make a phone call, okay? So anyway, come back and see me next time, and thanks so much for watching.